assist you today? Follow me. Should I look over your notes? Would you like me to double check your map? See these bolts? Scrub the grease off. But there's hundreds of them. Yes, that's where you come in. Surely there's a better use of my intellect. Son, we're building a solar neutrino detector. If you don't want the job, there's the door. No, I want it. Good man. Although that door does look tempting. What do you mean you quit? It was beneath me. You need to learn there's nothing wrong with a little hard work. Hard work is calculating neutrino properties to 1% accuracy. Anyone can wash bolts. <laughs> you begged him for that job. I assumed he'd realize the value of my intellect and put it to good use. Hang on. You made a commitment. When you say you're going to do something, you do it. Well, he could find someone else. Doesn't matter. It's about you being a man of your word. I wanted to point out that I couldn't be a man of my word since I hadn't hit puberty, but he seemed pretty grouchy. Hello? Dr. Linkletter, Sheldon Cooper. I'm calling to apologize. I shouldn't have quit. I made a commitment and I need to see it through. I appreciate that, but there's no need. There is. It's important to me as well as my father. Fine. Excellent. Don't worry, I won't overstep my bounds. I give you my word as a Texan. Great. And a man. Very good. Well, a future man. At present, my hormones and body hair aren't exactly what good you night. call. Good night. The next day, I returned to my role as lab assistant with renewed vigor. Bolts were greased, wires were stripped, floors were swept, all with a smile. It was a forced smile, but you'd never know. I must say, Sheldon, I am impressed. I gave you my word, and I'm standing by it. Oh. I know it's not glamorous, but all scientists pay their dues. And I'm happy to do it. Good man. I understand my role here. In fact, I noticed a flaw in your reaction rate, but I kept it to myself because I know my place. You really think there's a flaw? Oh, yes. What is it? I appreciate you testing me, but I'm not going to crack. I'm not testing you. Nice try. In an effort to find out the mistake in his experimental design, Dr. Linkletter performed his own experiment on me. You know, Sheldon, I don't even care if you tell me there. In fact, I'd rather you keep it to yourself. All right. Got you a little something for all your hard work. It's about a little boy who doesn't let being dead stop him from having fun. Thanks. <laughs> now that I've given you something, perhaps you want to reciprocate. Sure. You can have this. I don't want it. Hello? Uh, may I speak with Sheldon? It's the middle of the night. Who the hell is there? Uh, wrong number. The next day, Dr. Linkletter ran his experiment. I'm proud to say I never broke my word, and he eventually figured out the problem. Fire! 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 Was there too much oxygen in the reagents? See? You didn't need my help after all. 